All right. Um, Tina Marie loves watching us. Well, Tina, thank you. It so, so it sounds like she's new to the business, Mike, uh, or, or thinking about getting into the business. So, Tina, that is a great opportunity to, you know, get on the phone with Mike and I. We'd love to talk to you for, about the business for, for 30 minutes. Uh, we can strategize with you what is best uh, as far as getting started in the business. You know, we did it not too long ago, five, six years ago. Uh, we we took a chance and, and got started. And uh, really, it's about taking action, right? Um, it, you don't have to be perfect. Uh, Scott Todd says all the time, done, done beats perfect. Uh, take action, get some mailers out the door. Uh, I mean, rarely is anybody perfect with their first batch of mailings. I'd say that's that probably never happens. So it's all about uh, taking action. Um, Mitch Parker has a question. No, Nelson Garcia has a question. Is it a waste of time to mail delinquent landowners that live in the same state as the land parcel? That's a great question. Uh, for those who don't know, we do acquire our properties uh, via direct mailing. So we do direct mailing campaigns. We send an actual offer amount uh, for properties Ideally, 25 cents on the dollar, maybe a little bit more right now in today's market, 30, 33 cents on the dollar. And uh, we're hoping to purchase, what, Mike, 1% out of every, uh, maybe one, half to 1% right now, um, depending on the area. So Nelson's question is, uh, yeah. who do we mail? Is it, uh, yeah, do you, do you mail the in-state owners? Is that the question? Mm-hmm. And hopefully I'm not still teeny. I made some adjustments, uh, but this will be going this mic. Um, you know, we hear this discussion a few times. We've heard it a few times here in the nightcap. I filter them out. I just do. I know Forbes was in favor of just favor of keeping them in. Uh, I thought you kept them out. Well, maybe I'm wrong. What do you What do you say, uh, Bossman? No, actually, I, I I keep them in. I think when I was starting, um, I mailed all out-of-state people. Uh, and if I liked the area, then I would mail maybe people in the same state that were three or more hours away. Uh, mm. Because, you know, um, they, these states are huge, right? So they could live six hours away and still be in the same state. Why not sort the list by zip code and, and mail all the people that are three hours more away? But then it got to, now I'm, now I'm hearing a bad echo, Mike, on your side again. Um, <laughs> but then I hear myself twice. I hear myself twice. I don't know. You don't know. I I go back know. to your original. Uh, go back to your original setting. I think we'd prefer it be. I be haven't quiet. Really changed anything. I was lying. I just pretended I changed things, and I didn't change anything, and it's still worse. <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, then it got to the point where I just mailed everybody uh, because it's interesting, right? Like um, you get people all the time who uh, they just decide to sell. For whatever reason, maybe they weren't thinking about selling a few months ago, but uh, an offer in the mail, you know, it's the catalyst that maybe makes them start thinking about it. So uh, I don't know. I, I guess I would say if your budget is limited, go for the the lower hanging fruit, which would be the outer out of state owners, and then uh, and then if you like the area, go ahead and uh, mail everybody. I scrub them out. Still get plenty of deals, so it's just uh, buyer's choice. Buyer's choice. I agree. I did just change model setting. How's that? Not um, it's pretty tinny. <laughs> pretty distorted. I don't even know why I ask. I'm sorry. So when this this nightcap's over, I'm literally going to take a baseball bat to this bumblebee and order myself a new microphone. I think it's uh, maybe the computer. Maybe it's the track suit that uh, makes me want to take the baseball bat to the bumblebee. But, uh... maybe, maybe it's causing a lot of static. Uh, another question from Mitch Parker. What does it mean when a tax certificate is going to be issued on a property June 1st? How soon after does the tax sale happen? So I think there's some lingo things sometimes, right, with the county that you need to learn about that particular county. So just because a tax certificate is being issued um, doesn't mean it's going to auction. 
it could be in a, a three-year tax lien cycle, five-year tax lien cycle, kind of depends on the county. Um, but you're going to want to check with that particular county, I think, to, to see what exactly that means. Would you agree, Mike? Uh, Timmy 1010, I would definitely agree with you. <laughs> is this how this is going to be now? I just do all the talking. Well, I mean, I, I'm afraid to talk. It's just, it's, I, I, you know, I got, I got, uh, you know, beat up on the round table. Now we're getting beat up on the nightcap. I'm just feeling put down by the mic. So you know what? I will, I may not come across. Was... I will say this right now. Uh, there's yeah. no echo. And the tinniness is a little better. So maybe I was trying to talk too close to the microphone. Yeah, I think it does sound a little better when you're when you're back off it a little bit. But I agree with you. You know, this tax deed states, this tax lien states. The uh, the reality is, um, if it hasn't been sold, we you know we're in a tax deed sale. That's it. It's gone. But if it's a tax lien, it's not a big deal. We just you pay a little bit of fees, and you can uh, you'll still get that thing right again. Awesome, Keith forshay has got a major win here, Mike. Uh, let's take a shot to my 100th deal that I hit last month. So he's up to 110 deals. Uh, there's 155 properties in 15 months. I decided that's that's amazing. Uh, that's that's what 10 10 properties uh, a month. Um, mm -hmm. I decided to take your guys' advice and not be uptight about only making 300% and accepting some 200 to 250% returns. Can't complain when those are your options, but we still hit those wild returns here and there. Just closed on a lot for 4,800 yesterday and have it under contract today for 35,000 cash. Nice. 35,000 cash, Keith Forche. No wonder he's an Apache. He's just... Yeah, he's just, he's on the road vacationing. 